Hello and welcome to the 15th of PHP tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be discussing uh, defining your own functions and also the use of global variables. So with that let's uh, hop right in and just define a quick function. Um, defining function within uh, PHP is pretty simple. Let's say uh, we'll call this function and we're going to define it as global. Z and uh, we're not going to have any parameters. Later on you can specify parameters but within a uh, function you don't actually have to have any parameters. Um, and then you'll have curly braces and then as usual whatever you want to happen within it. So first we're just going to echo this is a basic function and that's going to be it for our function. Now uh, once you've defined the function the next thing you have to do is um, Actually, let me show you what happens when you run this script without actually, um, or when we've only defined uh, the function. We'll pop over here, refresh, and you see it's actually an empty page. There's no error or anything, but it's just empty, and that's because nothing's happened. Uh, the point of a function is to save yourself from repeating code, basically. So if you're going to continue calling function or calling the code within the function over and over, you might as well just call it you know, define a function, and then every time it just calls this. So already, even though we've only made a one-line function, if every time you wanted to echo some string of text, all you have to do is type globals like this instead of this whole line. So let me just show you. So to call this function, all we have to do is do globals and then the empty thing, save that, and when we run it, that's all we had to do even for the, this string. So as you can see, even with our one-line function, um, it already is saving us time and then if we continue running this um, we could call it again so we could say uh, echo um, let's just echo a break <laughs> a B and then uh, globals one more time save that and let's run that oops what do we do expecting comma or ah oh, we didn't echo here save that refresh and now you see this is a basic function this is a basic function so as you can see like that is kind of the purpose uh, of a function now what if um, we wanted to do something different like we wanted to say hello in your name how would we do that well let's do a variable call it name and my name is Harrison so we'll naturally call it uh, give the variable uh, name the value of Harrison and then we want to echo Hello, full stop, Harrison. So we wanted to say my name. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, save that and run that and see what happens. So yeah, we'll come over here, refresh. And you see we got hello, but it didn't give me my name, right? For some reason, it's not uh, pulling this in there. So um, to get the global variables like within at least within Python at the top of the thing you just before the functions you define then like any variables you define within the function is only uh, gonna work you know that way within the function whereas in uh, PHP it's not quite that uh, like that so if you've got a global variable that you want to reference within a function you've got to do global and then you give um, you know the variable that you want to act like a global variable so now let's save that, and now let's run that and see what the difference is. Mother trucker. It's like I already know what I've done wrong every time I see that. I'm just like, oh, I didn't add the semicolon. <laughs> I see parse, and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> anyway. So now you can see um, it says hello Harrison. And so, and then obviously a very, very basic function, but as you can see already, we're saving a lot of um, typing just by defining this function. Now, since we're here, um, let's go ahead and discuss parameters. So uh, the parameters is kind of like a way to specify a variable and then define it when you call um, a function. So a way to do that 
is, and if you recall, I guess we haven't really done any like serious functions besides like print R, right? Print R was a good example when we printed the array. The, the way that function is set up, it's got a parameter in there that you can fill. And in this case, you, you fill that parameter with the variable that is uh, corresponding to the array. And so it knows to do that with that uh, variable. So in this sense, like let's say, um, instead of defining name anywhere, we'll actually even call it something different. Like um, we'll say, we'll call this variable param name. So you just, def you just pick that variable here and let's camel case it, be good little coders param name and then what we'll do is come over here and instead of saying hello just name we'll say hello param name since that'll be the parameter now still we haven't defined um, anything here but the way that you define it is within the globals so in here we can say um, let's say your name is Ben instead so we'll just do that and let's save that and run that and see how that works so pop over here refresh and as you see now it says hello Ben, right? And so that's kind of how um, the parameters within the function works. Um, and the next, like, let, what if we do, let's, let's do something else. Let's do um, mathematics. So let's do math. And let's say this is num1. And then we want another var that we'll just say is num2. And this time we want to echo out the result of um, Let's just do num1 plus num2, like that. And so now when we do, we call the function of math, we can say 1, 5, right? So this should, this should echo out 6. Don't forget your semicolons. So anyway, we'll save that and pray for a 6 and not a parse error. And sure enough, there's our 6. No parse error. Nice. And obviously you can do all kinds of things. And you can really put unlimited number of parameters in there uh, that you want. So anyways, those are, those are really basic uh, functions, what you can do with them, and the whole point of functions. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.